Okay, so in this video, I'll be making a web browser that will allow you to browse the internet and surf the web and uh, using your own web browser that you made. So I am presuming that you've already downloaded Visual C Sharp Express Edition or another version of it, and there's a link on the side of the page if you haven't. So if you haven't, go download it and come back. So I need you to go to File, New, Project, and Windows Application. And name the Windows application Web Browser. And save it where you want. So open the web browser and make the screen about halfway and then bring it down. So go to Toolbox, find a button, and then find a text box and a web browser. So take all that and sort it. So put the button at the top of the screen and then place the text box at the top of the screen too and make it pretty wide for long addresses. Now take the web browser and place it a little below the text box and widen it so that it fits the entire screen and goes all the way down so there's no blank spots. So now you got a full screen, you got a basic web browser so you're going to need a double click on button 1 and type web browser 1 and also IntelliSense will probably pop up and tell you that you already have a web browser so just click enter web browser 1 dot navigate and if you see on IntelliSense navigate pops up so just click down and enter and then parentheses te text box 1 dot text and then close parentheses. Now do a semicolon and it all should work. So now I want you to click start debugging at the top of the screen or F5 and it will load the web browser that you've just made. So as you can see type Google for example google.com and then click button 1 and on the form on the web browser part of it Google will pop up so you now know that you have a fully working web browser and if this is not working uh, check that your internet's connected or and recheck the code so now you want to make it look better so click button one back on the form design don't double click or else it'll take you back to the code editor and then go to the properties on the bottom right and check the text and make the text go and also, if you want to add a label from the toolbox to the top and name it URL, just to let the person know. And also, one last thing to do, click on the form 1, like the entire form, go down to text and make it web browser, and also scroll up on it on the form and make the accept button button 1 which will allow you to when you press enter it will make it so that it will automatically click that button without you having to push it and also if you want instead of doing that if you're a keyboard person go to the text and do an and symbol in front of the letter G so if they do uh, if they click the letter G then it will automatically push the button also S and if once you do that you'll see that there's an underline under the letter G so this is a fully working web browser and I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.